part of Chinese and Japanese medicine, this diagnosis of the face and the body, posture, color, facial features. That can be very helpful in determining the condition of the, of the receiver to see what type of blockage or stagnation they have, weakness that they have. At the same time, it gives us an opportunity to notice change, improvement. I want to go into some of the basics of how we evaluate through the facial features and color, and I'll mention some things related to posture as well. That can give you a head start when you treat the person to understand what it is that you're seeing and feeling, and then also to monitor how things are improving over time. Now, diagnosis can be a very complex and detailed study. So this is just to be a start and a door opening for that. It will get you moving in the right direction, but still give you some valuable tools that will work and be useful. What I'm going to do is go through each area of the face and point out where we can see the different organs. And then I'll say a few things what you might be able to see in that area. And I might talk a little bit about different colorations. The first place that food enters, besides the mouth, comes down through the esophagus and then enters into the stomach. And we can see the stomach in the... Actually, we can see it in two places. One is right here on the nose. And sometimes we have a discoloration where we'll have most often horizontal lines there. Sometimes it might be like a brownish or yellowish color that we notice. The stomach can also be seen in the upper lip, with the left side being the upper stomach and the right side being more the lower stomach. So following the flow of the digestive tract, as the food comes in from the esophagus, we'll see upper and lower stomach. And there we might see swelling. Look that the lip has become more puffy. Sometimes we might notice that it has a purple color or even a pale color. And this can show different problems with the blood flow and oxygenation going to the tissue of that organ. Sometimes we'll notice that the left side is very different than the right side and that one side of the stomach may be more of the problem. The upper, the lower, and this can help us understand the cause of the problem as well. Again, I'm going to mention these things, but people that are interested in diagnosis need to follow up by going more in depth and best is to go into that depth with a qualified teacher. And there are qualified teachers around in Europe, mainland, England, and throughout the United States that are teaching this kind of facial diagnosis. The stomach empties its contents into a upper part of the small intestine that's called the duodenum. And we see the duodenum right on the corners of the mouth. Sometimes they can become puffy and have an inflamed look. Other times you might see a cracking or a little bit extension of a line coming. All those are going to be different signals that the duodenum is not functioning well or that it has some kind of interference. Now that's all in this upper part, or what we call the middle organs. And we can also see the liver, one of the most important organs of the body in terms of it purifies, it stores energy, and has over 120 different functions that are very important for the body. You can see that in this section between the eyebrows. And there we might see lines like this, swelling, or this kind of yellowish, brownish discoloration. Sometimes it looks very squeezed, and that can mean that the liver is contracted and 
usually that's showing up as a very intense part of a personality as well. Under the liver, a little bit more to the center of the body, is the gallbladder. And the gallbladder we see along this ridge above and below the eyebrow. That has similar indications like the liver. You'll see sometimes a puffing or swelling sensation or a hardening sensation. Sometimes we see little bumps appearing there. can show that there are stones forming and that the bile production is stuck or slowing down. Another one of the middle organs is the spleen. It's very important in the recovery of blood elements to produce new blood. Purification also interacts with the immune system, with the lymph system. And we see that out here in the temples. So here's spleen. Sometimes you see the, the skin becomes a little bit perforated, or again, this brown or puffy looking quality to it. But again, this perforation of the, of the skin or the pores seeming to be oversized. In, there, in this location. In the pancreas we see right here in the bridge of the nose, right at the top of the nose, at the root. And we're going to see similar to what I talked about with the stomach. See these lines, mostly horizontal. Sometimes they can be vertical, but they'll also have this yellowish or brown color. All right, so there we're tuning in and we can see the upper digestion. And if you want to just look at it as a larger view, you can just zoom in right there and you can see the middle organs. Of course, here we have the stomach and duodenum and you can take another look at it there. But this look around the eyes shows you what's happening in the middle digestive area. If it looks kind of like open and swollen or it looks tight and contracted, all that's giving you indications colors like this yellowish or brownish color that appears, kind of sometimes a glossy or oily look, slick look there that's hardened, also shows a similar kind of condition forming in that organ, like a hardening or too much fats, cholesterols, these kind of things that are gathering and getting stuck in those organs. Then we can move down from the duodenum to the small intestine. This is where what has happened in the middle digestion, the breaking down, the forming of this kind of pasty substance called chyme, moves into the small intestine and starts to get absorbed through what's called the villi. And we see that in this area 